Shovel Knight is a 2D side-scrolling platformer developed by Yacht Club Games. Originally released for the PC, Nintendo Wii U, and 3DS, Shovel Knight's massive popularity quickly spread to pretty much every console available. Now, the 8-bit hero has made his way over to the Nintendo Switch in the form of Treasure Trove. So without further ado, let's dig into the latest port of Shovel Knight and see what all the fuss is about. Story. We aren't talking the Iliad here. The story definitely is on the more light-hearted side, which lends to the game absolutely knowing what it is and not taking any one moment too seriously. Whether it be the goat man giving you a meal ticket for an increase of health, or the occasional literal horse face walking around the towns of Shovel Knight, the cast of characters here is pleasantly colorful and all have something unique to say. As Shovel Knight, you will set out on an adventure to take down the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter, an ensemble of eight stage-themed knights who all happen to have beef with you in doing so. The world here is impressively realized, and everything fits together to form a solid, if not too serious, experience. Moving to gameplay, developer Yacht Club Games is constantly juggling its obvious 8-bit inspirations with new ideas and impressively never drops the ball with Shovel Knight. The world map looks and feels like the natural evolution of Super Mario 3's with maybe a shot of Disney's Robin Hood injected into it. As you complete its stages, more of the world map overview is revealed, and maybe as to be expected, the map is not huge. In fact, it's quite small even in its completed state. However, what the world lacked in size, it more than made up for in its personality and provided a constant source of satisfaction upon unlocking. From zeppelins in the sky to submerged submarines, each stage had a very distinct theme which matched the boss night waiting at its end. The ever-changing and increasingly difficult stages all have checkpoints which help make progression in Shovel Knight feel a little bit more manageable than say its hard as nails inspirations like some of the earlier Mega Man titles. Control sadly is an issue while playing Shovel Knight in docked mode. As like the games that inspired it, success greatly relies upon input time, and there absolutely is a delay while playing in docked mode. We are talking tenths of a second here, but it's there nonetheless. The lag is resolved while playing in handheld mode, but due to the lack of a D-pad, you're going to want to map the Alt Attack to the A button to prevent the headache that is the game constantly registering your Alt moves at the worst possible moments. Composer Jake Hoffman totally knocks the score for Shovel Knight out of the park. Often serving as a battle cry for the player, the music is a beautiful love letter to the era of gaming which inspired it. Every single note of the 48 tracks perfectly embodies the atmosphere of 8-bit gaming in all its glory, and more likely than not will have you bobbing your head with a giant grin until the credits roll. Really fantastic work in the audio department. So I'm a little more than late to the party with this one, but yeah, this game totally rocks. It was able to simultaneously take me back in time two decades to remind me of the steel cut origins of 8-bit gaming, yet at the same time offer something completely fresh and exciting. It is unfortunate the game has a slight delay while playing in docked mode, but the controls are rock solid while playing portably. With Treasure Trove, the player also receives the two DLCs, Plague of Shadows and Spectre of Torment. Each campaign offering a totally new main character and moveset to master, as well as a new game plus mode, allowing you to dive back into the action a second time around for a more beefed up challenge while retaining all of your stats and equipment. Each of the three campaigns is about 6 hours long, so you're going to get well over 18 hours of core playtime, as well as a ton of bonus content. For a big gaming enthusiast, Shovel Knight Treasure Trove might as well be a mandatory addition to your Switch library. For everyone else, the $25 price tag will give you more than your money's worth, so I would definitely pick this one up. As always, thanks so much for watching the video, and if you'd like to see more like it, go ahead and click that subscribe button.